Hello, GA Connors, back again with another video. Today, we are going to show you how to use our new feature that we've just rolled out for zero users with GA Con called Intercompany Eliminations. So, this feature is specifically to be used with your consolidated reports. Um, when you are running reports across multiple connected organizations out of zero, there are instances in which you will have child accounts, common accounts, or um, just general accounts within the organizations you don't want to double count or would like overall eliminated from a consolidated report to make sure that you are getting an accurate set of data across all organizations. To begin to set up the rules with intercompany eliminations, we're first going to go to GACon for zero, tools, and then intercompany eliminations. So this is where we are going to first create our set of eliminations that we would like to later use when creating consolidated reports. Hitting intercompany eliminations, it's going to start you off by asking you to select the organizations that you would like to include in this elimination set. In my case, I have two different dummy demo accounts connected. Hitting next, it is going to take us to a page where we will be able to see all of the associated line items and accounts, as you can see here, across all my connected organizations. So I've got both organizations here, both of my demo org organizations, and then as I scroll through, you can see the different line items and accounts that will appear under both organizations when I go to run a consolidated report, whether it be a profit and loss or a balance sheet report. To get started, we're going to give this set a name. So we'll call this intercompany elimination set one. And then there are various ways to go about looking for these line items or various accounts. So first you can see here, we're grouping by code. This is where you can insert a code relating to a specific account. In this case, 1300 correlates to prepayments in both of my organizations as a balance sheet line item. The other thing that you can do here is go by account name where you can search for, in this case, accounts receivable or accounts payable, and it will show you all related line items or related accounts. Again, across all of the organizations that you have selected that you have connected. The other way that you can go ahead and look for these line items or accounts is to go by the items that would be included in a profit and loss report, balance sheet report, or both. So if I go ahead and deselect all, deselect balance sheet. Now we are only seeing those line items or accounts that would appear for both organizations in our profit and loss consolidated report. Going back to all, the other way that you can search for line items or accounts is to go by the different types here. So for example, if I hit liability or bank, current, here we go. You can select multiple, as you can see. If we stick to that current um, type, then we'll see the related line items, such as accounts receivable, prepayments, employee advances, and so on. Keeping everything as is, just to keep it simple, this is where you're gonna go ahead and select the different line items that you would like to include in this specific custom elimination set. For example, Let's say we would like to select the balance sheet inventory asset line item. So when you go to select, you can either select for both organizations, as we have shown here. You can see it is selected across both of my GACon demo companies, or you can select per given organization, depending on the item and how you would like to use it in your consolidated reports. For this example, we're going to go ahead and select a couple different balance sheet line items in addition to a couple different profit and loss ide line items. And we will call this our custom elimination set. That all being said and done, we're going to go ahead and hit create. And you can see we have selected five accounts. 
and we have gotten that set up and running. Now if I ever want to modify this set or if I add other organizations and would like to modify from there, I can always go to modify set within this intercompany eliminations uh, tool. And I can go ahead and hop into this intercompany elimination set one and go ahead and edit it. I can duplicate it and edit from there or I can even share with team members under my GACon subscription. So from there, just hitting share, I can either specify somebody's email or I can go ahead and share with all users under my GACon subscription package. All being said and done there, we are gonna go ahead and run a consolidated report. Going to GACon for zero, get accounting data and reports, and then our consolidated reports. This is where we will be able to use these particular elimination sets, and I'll show you exactly how. So first, as always, with the consolidated reports, it is going to ask us which organizations we would like included. In this case, I am going to select from both, in which we have that elimination rule set up for both. Hopping into the reports, here is where you can see we've got new report options available to you. So previously, we had balance sheet, balance sheet by organization, same with the cash summary, cash summary by organization, and same with the income statement, income statement by organization. Now you see the uh, same options, but with intercompany eliminations available to you as well. Specifying this type of report will allow you to use those elimination sets that we have just gone and set up. For example, hopping into our balance sheet or balance sheet by organization with intercompany eliminations, whichever works best for you in your case, it is going to give us our typical set of parameters where we've got that dynamic date up at the top. In this case, let's say end of last quarter. It's going to ask us the periods we'd like to compare with, how we would like to sort those, as always, the typical parameters that you're met with in the consolidated reports. And then at the bottom here, you will see it is giving you the option of which elimination set we would like to use. In this case, we've got two set up. I'm going to go for that first one that we just set up together. And then you will see that elimination setting. So this is specifically how you would like to use those selected accounts that you custom selected across all of your organizations. You can see here that you can either exclude these eliminated transactions where these will not appear in the consolidated report altogether, the specific accounts that you had selected for your elimination set, or you can select only eliminated transactions where it will show you only those eliminated items that you had selected across all accounts. The other options that you have here is to exclude the eliminated transactions but still have them available to you in a separate column or, same as before, include just those eliminated transactions and have them in a separate column. So for example's sake here, let's go ahead and select exclude eliminated transactions and have them appear in a separate column. I'm going to keep my pull settings as is here. We, this should look familiar to the most of you all. These are mainly formatting based settings. And then as always, we have our multi-currency converter at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and hit execute just for demo's sake here, keeping it nice and simple at USD. Having our report run, as we always expect, this is our consolidated report, so it is giving us the different organizations the data is being pulled from. And then you will notice we do have that eliminated column added per month that would show us the sums of the eliminated transactions we had uh, included in that custom elimination set. One last example here, going to get accounting data and reports, consolidated reports. Awesome, have both organizations selected income statement intercompany eliminations. We are gonna go ahead and select intercompany elimination set one. 
and then we are going to include eliminated transactions in that separate column. Awesome. So as you can see here, we have gotten that elimination set applied. Eliminated values are included in the report. So any eliminated values or account or line items um, would appear in this eliminated column that we have set up per month in this case. Awesome. I hope this video was helpful for you all. Let us know your thoughts down below um, and what else you would like to see in the future. Please go ahead and play around with it. If you are a Zero user, this feature is available to you as of now. See how this may work out for you and your accounting processes. Uh, QBO users, keep your eyes peeled. We will have this update rolling out to you shortly and let you know when it is available for use. All right, make sure to like and comment down below. Thank you guys and talk to you soon.